Hi there, this is Lee. I'm doing this video for Meredith who wants to know how you can take a, um, a text design from Design Space and make a shadow layer. Now currently Design Space does not have the function to make a shadow layer and hopefully they'll change that because it's something that a lot of people do um, want all the time. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to easily get this a text that you have typed in Design Space and get it over into another design program called Inkscape which will allow you to make a shadow layer. I'm not going to go over making the shadow layer in this video because there are several other videos. I've got I think one or two and many people have videos on how to make shadow layers. So I'm just going to show you how to get this into a vector format for uh, design in Inkscape. So I have typed the word, the name Stephanie in uh, Cricut font, DJ Flirt. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screenshot this and put this into Inkscape. Let me go ahead and open Inkscape while I'm working on this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to turn off the grid um, so I can get a nice clean image of this. So I'm going to go up to the menu here, the three lines on the left hand side, and I'm going to go down to settings and click on settings. And then see here, um, you can turn, you can have a couple of different um, versions of the grid, a full grid, a partial grid, or no grid. So I'm just going to click no grid and then click back on my design. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this as, as big as it'll fit on the screen because the bigger you make it, the higher resolution your picture will, not, it won't be higher resolution, but you'll get a better trace of it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a Windows tool called the Snipping Tool. Now if you don't, I'm just going to say, type, go, go down to the search and type Snip and it should come up. But if you don't have it, you can just go to Microsoft and you can download this app for your computer. So I'm going to open the Snipping Tool by typing Snip and then clicking on it. And then a menu should come up. Here it is. There's several different modes. You can do a free form where you just drag around, you draw a, an outline, a rectangular, full screen, um, whatever. I'm just going to use rectangular. And then I'm going to say new. And then it, see it grays everything out on the screen, but it gives me this little uh, crosshair cursor. And I'm just going to click and drag that to select the name. All right. So now you can save this if you want to. You can go to File, Save As, but it's actually copied to your clipboard already, so you don't have to. So I'm just going to go back to Inkscape, and this is a new document that I just opened. And I'm just going to press Control V for Paste, and you can see it was on my clipboard, so it pastes it directly into the document. Now, on Inkscape, down here is an information bar. And you can see that in the information bar down here at the bottom of the screen, it says image and it tells you the size of the image. F to be able to work with stuff in Inkscape, you want to um, get this into a vector format. Inkscape won't really work with images with bitmap images, so you have to convert it to a vector. So to do that, it's pretty easy, especially with something that's high contrast like this. We're just going to go to path, trace bitmap. Okay, that opens up this new menu over here. And the default should be fine for this. There's a lot of settings here and you can change those. It depends on what you're trying to trace. But this is a, a simple black and white image with a lot of contrast. So we can just use brightness cutoff. The default threshold is 0.45 and that's fine. It'll work just, just great for this. So I just say update and that gives me a preview of what it's going to trace. And I say OK. And it has traced my image. And you can't, it's hard to tell because it doesn't look any different. But if I click on this and pull it off, you can see now that that is, that there's two. Now, if I am clicked on this one and I go down and look, it says that's a path. Okay, so we know that's the vector. If I click back on this one and look down here, it says image. So that is the image we started with. We don't need that anymore, so I can just press delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. And then here is the trace. I can click and drag to make it smaller. And now at this point, um, let me just show you something else. If I click on nodes, the nodes tool over here, you can see that this is, it has the nodes and that's another way you can tell that it's a vector and not an image. Okay, so now you've got your text art in Inkscape and you can continue on with Inkscape to make a shadow layer um, using several different other methods. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.